Hi everyone, you alright? How's things? Okay I hope. Hope everybody's doing alright. Been looking at some of the blogs that I've done in the past. Yeah. Don't worry. Um Yeah, some of the uh, bus videos will be coming back and also, yeah, we'll see how things go. Um, we went to White Burke. And, yeah, managed to get some milk. We managed to, I think it was 35p per bottle of milk. Yeah. And then managed to get some cat milk. And by the way, the people... People who have been asking, yes, the kittens are doing pretty well. Um, yeah, so we've got that. Oh, and by the way, we went to Food Warehouse to get some chicken. Yeah, for them. And I must admit, uh, food warehouse, especially for bread, was a bit pricey, and I mean pricey. So we went to Farm Foods to buy some odds and ends from there. Yeah, we went from one side of the town to the other. I must admit, uh, I haven't heard anything about what they're going to do with the town centre. Um, as they said that they were looking at redeveloping parts of the town centre. What they're going to do, I don't know. But sooner or later, I'm going to find out. Um, the other thing is that the Maker Fair is going to be on very soon. And I'll be covering that like I did last time. Um, I've been hearing rumblings that the Mal Blackburn uh, will be doing something in conjunction with that but uh, it's just um, <clears throat> a rumour at the moment so yeah I'm just going to wait and see what happens next and one good thing that has happened this well this coming this week is that the weather's been pretty good so far and uh, I'm going to uh, probably doing some videos around town and uh, the other thing is that I'm going to be keeping a bit more of an eye of what's going on in the town centre because I don't know if Marks and Spencer is going to uh, shall we say m move their food hall to the Brothers uh, Industrial p Park well we'll just have to wait and see 
is the is the clothing department going to go as well? Let's wait and see, isn't it? So, yeah, there are also rumours at this moment is that the shop One Beyond isn't doing that well. They were thinking that they could do well there, but that's the rumour at the moment. Is One Beyond going to be going? Is it going to be replaced by something else? Hmm. Could it be a another B and M brand? Heron Foods. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see on that one. But if they did open uh, a heron there, it could possibly um, damage the B&M brand a little. But you never know. And I'm just going to wait and see on that one. And see how that goes. Because if they do, if One Beyond do move, uh, yeah. As I said, it's a wait and see. Yeah. So I hope everybody's keeping safe. And if you get any text messages like uh, UPS, UPS, you've got a parcel, and you have, and you don't really know, you don't know that you have done done that. You know, be very suspicious of getting messages on your phone, because. Uh, you know, every you know, Santander, people's pe- people's details got leaked, and yeah, even the staff got hacked as well. Not good, not good at all, and. Very soon, um, I've been hearing that they're going to start. They're going to start uh, pushing out the King Charles notes very soon. As a matter of fact, they started. It's just one side of the note that's going to be different instead of having the Queen Elizabeth II on it's going to have King Cha- King Charles III on yeah yeah be very wary of what's co- of what's happening because there are lots of scams going on and I've also found out that if you're a DWP uh, person, the security guards are going on strike again about how much they're being paid. Yeah. I think they're members of the GMB. You know. So, 
We'll just have to see what happens with that. Well, I'm going to disappear now. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.